In this video, I'm going to share with you a free screen capture tool. Quite a few years ago now, I decided to go freelance. And of course, when I just got started as an instructional designer working for myself, I didn't have a huge budget for things like extra software packages. I could only afford really just my e-learning authoring tool. And I had to rely on a lot of free tools like the snipping tool, which came with earlier versions of Windows. Now, if you happen to be using Windows 10 or even Windows 11, there's an updated version of the snipping tool that's available to you. Let me show you. So by default, it may not be installed on your computer. If you do uh, a quick search for the snipping tool, you might have the original app as it was available with your earlier version of Windows. Let me launch that and show you what it looks like. So you can see here, I can grab a screen capture and simply draw a rectangle around what I want to capture. And there are some basic controls. And you know, for a lot of you, you probably didn't use this because maybe there was something better out there. Well, there's actually an updated version of the snipping tool. If I go ahead and open it up again, you'll see try snip and sketch it's called, but it's still the snipping tool in the uh, window store. And I'll just go and get that right now. So if you don't have the snipping tool installed on Windows 10 or Windows 11 for that matter, you can go to the Windows Store and select it and install this new application. Just takes a few moments. Okay, once it's installed, you click on Open and it shows up and looks something like this. So if I want to take a new snip, for a lot of years I was unaware that Snip and Sketch or the snipping tool as it's also known was available for Windows. And I would simply hit print screen on my keyboard, capture the entire screen, and then crop it using some other editing software. What's nice about the snipping tool is that it has some editing capability already built in and the capture tool allows you to select only a portion of your screen as well. Let me show you. So I'm going to click on new. The, the application disappears and I of course can draw a rectangle around what it is that I wish to capture. In this case, it's the preferences window in Adobe Captivate. And once it's captured, you'll see, of course, the edit window for the snipping tool here. Just to explain a little bit about what's on the toolbar at the top here, if I was using a touchscreen device, I'm not, but if I was using a touchscreen device, I would want to select this option before marking up my screen capture. And that way, you know, it wouldn't move the object that you see on your screen. But I don't have such a, a touch screen on this particular computer. So I can go ahead and, you know, draw lines and create arrows and emphasize different things. I can use the pencil tool if I want more of a pencil effect. And of course, I can highlight different parts of the screen capture using the highlighting tool. If there's something I don't need, I can use the erasing tool to erase those uh, elements there. And if I need to draw a straight line, this is really kind of cool. I can bring a ruler onto my screen. I can position it to where I want. Let's say, for example, I wanted to draw a line underneath global preferences, but I didn't want it to be completely straight. I can actually rotate the ruler and set it, you know, at a slight angle, for example, and then use the pencil tool or the uh, ink tool to just draw a nice straight line there. So even though it's on an angle, it's perfectly straight there. And if my cropping was a little bit off, of course, I can use the crop tool, use the selection handles. Maybe I just want a smaller subset of this particular shot here, and I can go ahead and, and do that. 
So now that I have my screen capture that I wish to use for my training, I can do several things. I can either share it with another application, I can copy it to my clipboard, or I can save it as a PNG, which can be saved to your computer and then loaded into Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, however it is that I'm going to use that screenshot. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.